we're gonna work on the tree together, my husband and I. What do you think my kitten's gonna do with when we get ornaments on there? Hmm? Hey, get back. Come here. Well, we kind of got the tree fluffed out. Now, my husband got his old train out, which he's never, I haven't even seen him get it out. I don't, how old is this train, babe? I think the things are like 1949. 1949, it's a really old train. He had it when he was little. I'll, I mean, it's, it's old. It's an old one. So we're gonna try to attempt to, we, meaning him, I mean, it's an old, uh, there's the controller, so you know it's old. When it, I mean, it's just old. So he is going to attempt to put this under our tree this year. We'll see how it goes with the cat and the grandkids. We may have to take the train up. I don't know. Can you imagine that thing running around? The cat's going to chase it. Well, that's why I'm, I'm not sure exactly what the cat's going to do with it either. So I thought... Maybe this year we'll just set it up for decoration and the next year after I get more time to play with it. Alright. I gotta make sure, I, I gotta get this wire, this, this track's gonna be rewired. Oh, okay, well, it so might just go for looks. Oh, uh, yeah, that's really old. You need to rewire that, new. Alright, well. 50 years old. This year we're just gonna have a train to look at. We'll see how this goes with the animals. My husband, the cat was already in the lights. Oh, look. This cat, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with the kitten and, and Christmas this year. It might be interesting. Okay, my husband, he's already started on the tree. We fluffed out all the branches. Yes, that's a word. We fluffed them out. And he, he put the tree top on first. Isn't that backwards? No, it's smart because I can rock wire the wire the wire between all the trees all the way down. I might have to try to do it last. All right. Well, he thinks smart. Well, he really does think smart. Last year I put the lights away. You want to see them? I should leave. I should leave this camera rolling because you'll hear my husband get unhappy with me probably. Not bad unhappy, just normal unhappy because he's doing the lights on the tree. And they're going to be in a ball. And they're in a ball. <laughs> they're, they're in a ball. Our lights are in a ball. Yep, yep, yep. So this ought to, I might leave the camera rolling for this. Look, there's the kitten again. This daggone cat, I don't know, between the cat and the grandkids. Wonder how many times my tree's going to get undecorated. All right, here he goes. I dare you not to swear. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Oh, that's not too bad. At least you have a strand. Yep. There you go. Good job. Do you want me to separate the other strands or do you want me to let you I'll just do it. it? You said you'd get it? I'll get it. I'll figure it out. Okay. If you do it gently and gingerly, you come right apart. If you start forcing them, that's when they get into a knot. Maybe next year you could take the lights off the tree. <laughs> the year before this, I got so upset with the lights, I just cut them off. They were just tangled and twisted. I just, I cut them all. I just unplugged them all and cut them and then went and bought new lights. That's one way to do it. You're asking me where you want me to start? Yeah. I'm not in the middle. Can you start in the middle? Sure I can. <laughs> I got skills. I'm just joking. I'm joking you. First of all, plug in. Oh, we gotta make sure them daggone things work before you put them on there. Yep. This might get interesting. I don't know. I'd rather do it now while it's off the tree than trying to. I'm sort sitting it on the floor. I probably loose. should. Maybe I should sit up like your level because you look like the jolly green giant right now. Ooh, we got lights. They work. Okay. That's a bonus. One strand works. 
All right, I'm going to stand up so he doesn't. He's he is like six foot. He's he's, he's a big he's guy. Tripod. I could get my tripod, but I don't feel like doing that. Maybe Santa will bring me a new tripod for Christmas. A Joby. Listen, Santa needs to listen to this. A Joby tripod that you could twist around anything and everything. It's a short little thing, but it looks Joby? really cool. Yeah, it's a Joby. Joby tripod. Santa, yeah, I might I'll have... I'll have to talk to Santa and see if I know anything about a Joby tripod. <laughs> I, um... You know, I did message Santa. I sent Santa a screenshot of it. Do you think he got it? Well, I have to talk to him and find out. I'm thinking his email's a little slow this time of year. Okay. A lot, of, a lot of stuff going on this time of year. He's feeding his reindeer and trying to shoot reindeer and whatnot. <laughs> He's not shooting the reindeer. <laughs> That's you shooting the oh, reindeer. <laughs> sorry. I knew somebody was shooting reindeer. <laughs> That's you. Can you go a little higher, closer to the star? There you go. Good. Oh, yeah. That's the way Mama likes it. Clear up by the star. You got a mess there. It's okay. I know this guy. You got to know one trouble, one strand at a time. Look at that. You even know how to decorate a tree good. Listen, wives, here's a tip for you. If your husbands are doing something, for, just compliment them. Just keep complimenting them because they just keep working and they're happy with it. Honey, you're doing a fantastic job. Fantastic. <laughs> just keep telling them, oh, good job, good job. Or if you don't want to do something. Husbands, if you're watching, there's alcohol in my garage. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, well, there's beer in the fridge. <laughs> Is that why you always go out to the garage? Just saying. Oh my gosh, you're just too funny. Now you made me forget what I was saying. <laughs> now I don't remember. Oh, I know. If you don't want to do something, my dad was great with this. Because my dad liked the dishwasher or like loaded a certain way. So every time it was my turn to load the dad, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't remember. He would come and load the whole darn thing. He did that a couple times before he finally caught on that I was just bluffing him. He has a helper. <laughs> you have a helper? That's too funny. Oh, here comes the other one. <sighs> now, you watch, he's going to step on a cat. He's going to step on a cat. You're doing a fine job over there. It looks beautiful. With his helper. <laughs> the cat keeps chasing the strand of lights and grabbing it. I suppose I could help. I could hold the. No, because then who would hold the camera? If I would help you, honey, I don't know who would hold the camera. No. I'm not going upstairs. No, I'm good. I don't want to miss any close ups. Look at that other cat's thinking I'm going to jump in that tree. That cat's going to jump you in. You never that. bothered the tree. Yeah. You say this that one here, now. I'm not sure of what he's going to do this year. You say that now, that cat's going to get that tree. The black one, uh, you could be interesting this year. All right, now they're having a tug of war with. <laughs> oh, this is comical. Try you got to get the lights off the cat. watching you. He's like, oh. I know he is. He's watching. There he goes. We've decided to... 
we're gonna uh, put the train around it but not have a working train just kind of a look at train now well, you between the grandkids and the cat I'm not sure how much working is going to be doing we may have to put the cat the cat we may have to put the train away do you have anything witty for me huh? you have anything witty to no, say not right now so far these working no loose bulbs yet that's the fun part always trying to find out which bulb to loose my theory would be like throw the whole strand away but Rob likes to he'll fix it he'll he'll it he'll fix it there he goes in the ball the ball of lights Has anybody ever washed your Christmas tree? I've done that. You put it in the shower and then like Dow bathroom cleaner I've sprayed all over the branches. Boy, you would be amazed to see how dirty your Christmas tree is. I was thinking about doing it this year to this one. But... Well, the old house we had the wood burner. Yeah, that we produced a lot of stuff, a lot of dust. I don't know if any of you saw my garage sale Christmas haul. Go back and watch it. It's cool. Well, I think it was cool. But you see this snowman? I bought him for like two dollars at a garage sale. And these Christmas trees, I love. I collect these old Christmas trees. I bought that one at a garage sale for like three dollars. And if you price these online, they're they're pretty expensive. So I got a lot of stuff this year. A lot of it I've given to my daughter. And I've kept some of it. I kept this. I'm sure my grandkids love it. It's a music box. And I, I'm thinking by the end of the season it might be broken. But I only paid like $2 for it. So they enjoy the music. They just think it's the best thing in the world to wind that thing up. And then I got this thing over here by the door. I don't know. I'm going to put it outside, I think. But it's it's on a little shovel. I only paid, I didn't pay $5 for, you know, more than $5 for anything. And these little dolls I just thought were cute. They were like 50 cents each. Just to hang up. How you doing there, big guy? So far. So far so good? Yep. All right. Anything witty for me? <laughs> no more wit? Do you have... Are you out of wit? Right now, yeah. Are you getting dizzy going around that tree? Just about. It's probably because you've been in the garage, right? Not yet. Not yet? <laughs> You're heading there next? Oh, listen. He drinks one beer a day, okay? So anybody out there wondering that, you know, my husband's a drunk. He is, he's, he's just joking. I just learned why he's speed putting on lights. <laughs> the, well, I gotta go deer hunt later. The deer are waiting for him in the woods. I'm gonna date with Bambi. He's, uh, I hope you have a date with Bambi this year. Can you, where he deer hunts? Honest, honestly, where he deer hunts is like near a field, and there's a cow loose, and the cow is ruining the farmer's crops and everything, and they can't catch the cow, so they've given the hunters permission to shoot the cow. I told him to shoot the cow. I would rather have cow meat than deer meat. Can you? Okay. How are you going to drag a cow out the woods? We have to get a hug. We have to call. Uh Scott's buddy and his backhoe out here, or Traco. You're not going to drag that thing out of the woods. Oh my gosh, I just thought side about Side by that. side, maybe, but. Or cut it up. Yeah, if it's a thousand pounds. You're going to have to cut it up out there. I hope I'm not grossing anybody out, but this is what hunters do. We aren't vegans. Yeah, you figure typical cows. He's still talking. He's still pounds. talking. Hold on. Well, there's a bull or beef cow or not, I don't know. They get pretty big. I'll take either. I'll take either. Usually when he gets a deer, 
but I look exhausted as I am. Usually when he gets a deer, he um, makes ground ground out of it. He grinds it up. I want to say grind beef, ground beef, but he um, does it like ground hamburger kind of thing. Makes it with pork. <sighs> we bought a grinder and we do our own. He cuts it up and we do our own. But that's the only way I will eat it. You know, I, we might save a few chops for him and because he likes to eat those and we'll cook those. But the rest of it gets ground up into uh, like hamburger and then... A grind, a gr ground, ground, ground deer can use for anything. Well, and like tacos and stuff like that. And Anything usually, when my kids know that when the when the kids know that he gets a deer, they come over to eat. They'll be like, "Is this deer?" So usually it is, but I tell them it's not. They're watching this. I know they're watching this. I'm busted. We're busted. Jennifer is eating more deer than she thinks. <laughs> Just saying, Jennifer. Sorry. Sorry, Jennifer. And here's me. My eyes are starting to water. My eyes are watering. My nose is getting stuffed up. And it's like, what is going on? Well, guess what I did? My husband's like, you dummy. I have candles lit. I have, like, I like the smell of pine. So I bought two pine candles and lit them. And he's like, you dummy. You're allergic to pine. I didn't say dummy. I just said you realize you are you're allergic to pine, right? He might have said dummy. Well, no, I said dummy. But he was thinking, I'm sure. And he's like, you know you're allergic to pine, right? And I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Last time I... I missed that. Yeah. We had... He had a... He cut down a pine tree about two years ago, three years ago. And... We kind of made mulch out of it because we had a lot of pine. I got, a, I got a chipper shredder. Chipper shredder. So I just shredded it. And then it I helped him put the pine around the house. Well, I broke out awful. My leg, anywhere the pine touched, I I broke out. So now here I am burning this. I, I might as well just throw these candles away because I can't deal with this. I guess our house isn't going to smell like pine this year. Okay. Are you done? Oh. Are you done? I think so. He's done. I'll hide the core back in once we get it in there and All right. Well, the cat's back there. All right. Well, we're done. We are done and the man's going hunting. So, we are going to end the video here. So, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Back for more. Make sure you make sure you subscribe. Okay, you heard it from him. All right. Bye.